That's what they do. They stoke up this fear in people, get them to vote against their own economic interests. Joe the Plumber, perfect example. Remember they, they held up Joe the Plumber as the epitome of the guy who was going to lose if Obama wins the election because Obama's going to steal the American dream from Joe. Oh, yes, I'm snaking out a septic tank. Pinch me. But Joe hated Obama because Obama was going to raise taxes 3% on people making over $250,000 a year. Even though Joe didn't have a job, didn't have any money, didn't even have a plumber's license. But he was gonna! <laughs> I'm gonna buy that plumbing business, Alice! And we're gonna be rich! Joe is getting killed on the taxes on the imaginary business in his head. <laughs> this is what they do. They get the people to vote against their own interests. Health care. Did you see the people this summer at the town hall meetings fighting health care? These obese, stressed out, angry, old, white people, heart attacks waiting to happen. You saw that guy with the sign that said, keep your government hands off my Medicare? You saw this? Oh. <laughs> Who did he think was running Medicare? Sears? Monsanto? I mean, you know, drawing a Hitler mustache on Obama? Right. Obama's Hitler because he wants to give you health care. That's such a Nazi thing to do. It really is. Whenever I think of the Nazis, I think health care. <laughs> but, you know, socialized medicine, this is the word that they, the phrase that they always invoke to get, oh, social, can't have that. That's a slippery slope to the gulag. Because, you know, Americans hate socialism. They don't know what it is, but they know it's... Something super awful like gay marriage or child pornography or something really... Oh, please. Arkansas doesn't have capitalism yet. You're worried about socialism? They're still curing people with moonshine and leeches down there. Plus, we already have socialism in America. We just have it for the rich. There was no... <laughs> there was no problem with socialism at the beginning of the meltdown when Henry Paulson walked into the Oval Office and demanded $700 billion for the banks right away. No time to read the fine print. What's that, Lassie? AIG is in trouble. We'll run to Fort Knox and get them all the gold, girl. You know, this nonsense about, let's give all the money to the rich people. They create jobs. No, they don't. They eliminate jobs. That's how they get richer. They're not interested in creating jobs. They're interested in creating wealth for themselves. You read about these pricks with their $1,000 shower curtains and their private jets and their gold faucets and the antique commodes and the eyes wide shut orgies or whatever. I mean, there's no end to the bullshit rich fucks will spend money on. It's nine o'clock. Time for my wine enema.